Okay, in this fourth module, we'll talk about joining the world of DeFi. And we've got two components. Number one is to set up your wallet. And I'll go through a step-by-step -step how to do that. Uh, and then the second part, which is much more involved and longer, is to bring you up to speed with what I call the uh, blockchain tech big picture. So I will go through uh, a list of different items that are important to understand within this space. For example, we're going to show how to set up an address in Ethereum, but where does that address come from? Okay, so it's very important uh, in this learning experience that you understand where stuff actually comes from. That's my job and we will go into considerable detail. So let's start with the MetaMask wallet. So this is something that is very easy uh, to download. So this is a wallet. So what is a wallet? Well, a wallet is a place that you store your private keys. Okay, so this is um, going to be a mechanism also whereby we can interact with the various different profile. Um, in decentralized finance. Okay, so this is a very important starting point. And uh, I will go through how to do this on a mobile um, phone, but you could also do this on a desktop. Okay, so there are different ways to actually do this. And of course, you can have more than one uh, version of this. So just like you could have two purses or two wallets, uh, you can have two uh, MetaMask wallets. I actually have uh, two. So let's kind of go through uh, what we're going to do. The first thing, um, go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and, uh, and download MetaMask. And uh, click Get Started, create a new wallet, and uh, you're going to create a new account by uh, putting in a password and uh, you choose that. You don't actually have to give uh, information about you in, in detail. So it's not like uh, establishing a bank account or a brokerage account where you've got to give a lot of uh, uh, private information. No, this is uh, very, very straightforward uh, to do. Um, one important thing will be a secret backup phrase. So you'll be prompted to actually do that. And I highly recommend that you put that somewhere that is not on a computer. Okay, so this is something that effectively uh, somebody could use to essentially uh, steal your private keys. Okay, so that seed phrase is very important to keep that outside of the internet in uh, particular. Okay, so you'll actually put that in and you're gonna see an interface uh, something like this. And I'll go through uh, a few of these things. So number one, there's a network and the default is the Ethereum main network, sometimes called the main net. Okay, so uh, if you're new uh, to DeFi, um, you're gonna have zero balance. You just set this wallet up, uh, there is nothing there. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk not just about the uh, main network, but we're also going to talk about a test network called the Robston Test Network. And most of the stuff that we do in my course is based upon the test network. The test network is an identical copy of the real main net. So any contract that works on the test network must work on the main network. But it's a great way to operate on the test net where the Ethereum has no value. And you can basically kick the tires, try to find bugs and operate uh, in this test net. So, uh, so the, the main network uh, is where Ethereum all of the smart contracts that are operational, the world of DeFi uh, exists 
mainly on Ethereum, I've emphasized that there are other blockchains that are available today that are operating decentralized finance apps. So that's clear, but most of them are based upon uh, Ethereum. So that's uh, the network. Again, this test network is extremely useful in terms of what we do. So I mentioned that I create a token in uh, my course. Well, this token is created on the test network. Okay, so the token creation code, that smart contract could be deployed to the mainnet. But the advantage of the test net is that there's no gas, there are no fees. And everybody, as I'll show you, um, can get Ether for free. Okay, so on the test net, it doesn't have any value, but you can get it from a faucet. And that's exactly what we're going to do in setting you up. Okay, so um, uh, number two that is in red, that is basically uh, telling you your account. That's your address, your Ethereum public address. And we'll talk about this in considerable detail uh, in a few minutes where that actually uh, comes from. And, uh, and balance. And just setting up this wallet, uh, the balance here uh, is zero, but it might not be zero um, if you've actually put something uh, into your uh, MetaMask uh, wallet. Okay, so, um, so what we can do here uh, is if we want to check the balance, we can do transfers, many different possibilities uh, using uh, this particular uh, wallet. So uh, there's also a possibility here that uh, you've got some Ethereum in another wallet that you want to transfer to your MetaMask wallet and the app allows you to do this in a very uh, straightforward way. So uh, you can literally uh, receive. Um, the transaction history is also available in the wallet. And uh, this is where you can see a pending transaction. So when you do a transaction, it will be pending. Remember, we talked about the memory pool. So it'll be pending until it's approved and goes in to uh, the blockchain, which would be the testnet uh, blockchain in this particular example, if you're using the Robston uh, testnet. So this is kind of what it uh, looks like um, in terms of uh, an actual uh, transaction. We need to get some uh, test Ethereum into uh, our wallet. You'll see for any transaction, you've got uh, the confirm or reject. You might type something in incorrectly, you would reject it. But if you want uh, to do this, um, you would hit confirm. It uh, calculates the gas fees. Everything is uh, within this particular uh, wallet. So um, it's very, very nice uh, to do. OK, so uh, the next thing is we need to get some test uh, Ether. So we're going to open the MetaMask wallet. Uh, we're going to switch to the test net and, uh, and then basically click on the amount of uh, ether you have, um, which is like zero. And then we're going to click receive. And you're going to copy your public address. That's step number five. Okay, so, so then we're going to go to a website. And uh, so the faucet.robston.be, you're going to paste your uh, address in and uh, basically send me some ether. Okay, so don't do this a lot. Uh, do it for a modest amount. If you just keep on doing this, then uh, you're taking advantage of the system. Indeed, you might be blocked uh, for a while. But you don't need that much to start things off. Okay, so, uh, so basically um, you can close this up once you're, uh, once you're done. And, and then you can look uh, at the status. And, uh, in, and what we use is uh, EtherScan. And EtherScan, again, it, this system is completely transparent. 
So every single transaction in the entire history of Ethereum is captured in Etherscan. Both what is in the actual system and what is pending in the system. So you can see, uh, you can wait uh, until it's actually confirmed. And then when you go back to your wallet, uh, you will see that your wallet has got these test ETH in them. So uh, this is uh, a great uh, exercise to start things off, to get in to the, uh, the world of DeFi. If you've got uh, a friend that's interested, they should do the same thing, take the same steps. And what I would like you to do is to do a transfer. So to send uh, some of your test uh, ether to your friend. So to do that, you will need their public address. Okay, so you should share public addresses and then, uh, then send something to your friend and your friend could send uh, something uh, to you back. So um, this is, again, fairly straightforward. If there's issues, lots of YouTube videos uh, on this. Um, but this is your, your ticket to get into this space. So even though you're playing on the test net, this is a 100% rock solid uh, wallet that can be used for um, real Ethereum transactions and any other ERC-20 token. Okay, so my uh, Ethereum uh, MetaMask wallet has got Ethereum in it, it's got USDC, it's got DAI, it's got many uh, tokens that uh, I have uh, in my wallet. So it's very general. So um, in terms of troubleshooting, there's a few things. Like you can do this, the entire thing uh, on a desktop also, or a laptop. Again, uh, I've got different accounts um, or different wallets uh, based upon the machine that I actually have. Uh, and indeed, if you do that, it's if you set up a separate account, which you can, on a desktop, then you can do the transfer from your mobile to your desktop and vice versa. So that's a good exercise uh, to do. It's also possible to import from one wallet uh, to the other. Um, what if you forget your password in MetaMask? And the MetaMask password can be a pretty simple password. It doesn't have to be a strong password. Um, but if you forget your password, then you can basically recover everything by importing the seed phrase. So that's why it's really important not, not to lose that seed phrase. Um, and then maybe the last thing that I'll mention is what happens if you forget your password and forget your seed phrase. Well, that's very bad news because that means you've lost whatever was in your wallet. Now, if you only have an account with uh, Ether in the test net, then you've lost nothing because you just go and do the whole process again. However, if you've got real Ether and uh, ERC-20 tokens, you lose your password, you lose your backup seed phrase, you've lost your private key. Okay, so, so that gets you into the world of DeFi. Do this, try to do some transfers, um, uh, and, and, and this is the only way that you'll really understand what's going on. I can push some slides, you can listen to me, you can do the quiz questions, but you need to be actually involved in the space. You need to have a wallet. You know, before my students get into my course, uh, a pre-assignment is to set up a wallet and to load in some test uh, ether into that wallet because we use that wallet uh, throughout the course. So you have to do it. Uh, and I think it's very important. And this is the way uh, to join the world of DeFi.